Hey everybody, what's happening? I'm here in the rain. You can probably hear it. Bear with me on the audio on this video. I'm just using the mic on the phone. I've got some stuff coming in in the mail and I'm waiting for it to stop raining so I can pick it up and uh, that should improve the audio. But the reason that I'm putting this out is I, I have been keeping to myself at my own camp and my own little bubble for a while, for probably three weeks or more. I went to the gym once and just worked out and took a shower and came back, But other, and the gym was kind of empty-ish, but I thought it was because it was a Saturday. But other than that, I haven't been around. I haven't been grocery shopping or anything like that. And just recently, I did go to the grocery store with a friend of mine, and I was blown away by all the stuff that was missing on the shelves. I don't really watch the news. I, I, I don't really, you know, follow the the progress or the, the updates with the coronavirus. And so to me, nothing's going on. You know, nothing was going on in the world until I went to the store and I saw this, uh, what I would describe as mass hysteria groupthink that uh, has taken on uh, society, at least where I am, and I talked to the gal uh, in Parker about the grocery stores down there, and she said it was no different. I don't know what it's like where you are, but evidently folks think that they need toilet paper and paper towels really bad, and uh, I couldn't get the coffee that I usually drink. It was sold out. The spaghetti aisle was completely cleared. There was no spaghetti sauce or spaghetti. Um, just weird things that there was all the Pepsi Cola, you could ever want to drink. You know, it looked like not even a, a six pack had been taken off the shelves. Plenty of alcohol if you wanted to, you know, buy booze. Just weird things, you know, the dog food uh, shelves. And so it got me wondering. I just listened to a, a podcast, a Joe Rogan podcast, where a guy that's an expert on these things was talking. And he was saying that this isn't. Uh, a quick sprint event. It's more of a marathon that's going to unfold over time. Uh, maybe, maybe boil to a head in the fall or something. And so it got me thinking, what do I need to worry about? Do I need to worry about the, the shelves actually being empty of food? And, and where am I going to get food if that happens? And what do I need? And what could I do for you? You know, what can I do for you? as a guy that's been living in uh, a van or in this case now a school bus for eight years off grid. And so I'm totally off grid uh, as far as power goes. And so I thought about power. Well, I certainly can't come out and, and uh, hook up solar to everybody's house that needs it and give them power that way. And I even wondered, you know, is power even going to be a concern? And so I went online and I looked and I typed in, could we lose power due to the coronavirus just to see what would come up? And a few headlines are, is your utility uh, ready for the coronavirus, e-source. Uh, it was the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. Coming up, Washington Post, Forbes, power demand drops as coronavirus. So the demand drops. Can you lose your job if you were quarantined? And that got me thinking, if you're quarantined, who's going to run the power system? That's the furnace kicking on. I'll turn it off so we don't uh, get that on the mic. But it got me to thinking, you know, if, if folks are quarantined or if folks have kids in school and the ki and the schools closed down and then they've got to watch their kids, the daycare isn't available. They're try I guess the idea is to keep people separate uh, so it doesn't spread as quickly. And so it could just be a matter of people that work power companies can't be there to run it. I, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I've got plenty of power and that's not a concern for me. And so I just wanted to do a quick video on what I'm doing for power and what you might be able to do on uh, short notice, quick and easy, not a lot of money. The first thing is I went out when I was out shopping and I bought some batteries, little triple A's and double A's. That's what I use for the most part and some of those little square ones. And I also got some rechargeables. I have a, a recharging uh, device that I reviewed, oh, probably a year and a half ago. And so I pulled that thing out and dusted it off. When the rechargeable batteries come in the packaging, they're not all the way fully charged. 
and I have a little case that I put my batteries in just so everything's organized and they're not sitting at the bottom of a drawer and I'm digging through trying to find, you know, another AAA for my headlamp. You know, I use these things for headlamps at night. That could be important uh, for hands-free. I use them for my remote, for my TV and to run my fan. Not super duper important in a crisis. Who knows if we're even going to have a crisis. But uh, so I stocked up on batteries and I and I got my old uh, smart charger out and my advice would be just in case there's you're going to get a loss of, of power make sure you've got a gasoline generators are good and plenty of gasoline if you can't uh afford that or if that's not going to work for you for whatever reason you know these portable power stations are good they're just not as robust typically uh like for instance this is a, a honda uh, partnered with Jackery and made this one. I, I reviewed this one. This isn't a review video. None of the stuff that I'm talking about has anything to do with reviews. But uh, a little Honda like this and get yourself a 100-watt panel. I'd get any panel you can, but I'd get a 100-watt if you can. Uh, I don't know what that what sales are going to be like online or on Amazon or if Amazon's going to have to close down because of the coronavirus. I, you know, I have no idea how this is going to go. But I would get a... I'm getting ready to do a review on a Rock Pals... Uh, five, it's I think a 500 uh, power station and the 100 watt solar panel which I've been having my eye on for a long time so I'm excited to do the review but I can't do it until it stops raining until there's some sun to see how that solar panel performs so I'm waiting on that but uh, I really like the price of that rock pals right now it's $209 on Amazon which uh, for the quality of it and what you get is a pretty good price for a fold-up portable panel that's a pretty good price uh, let me show you my batteries let me show you the setup I have for there and I'll put links in to the case that I bought and the the smart charger this is a charger that doesn't overheat they, they sell you little chargers at at the store with the rechargeable batteries but those you touch them and the batteries are hot I've used them before and uh, if they're heating up the batteries the, the batteries aren't gonna last as long and so this is a smart charger it decides what size battery you have it gives it a lot of charge and then it steps it back as the batteries start topping off and then it shuts off when the batteries are topped off so let me just show you what i have here we go this is my little battery station i've got a a case that i bought it's kind of a hard side case but it's soft and here is the the charger now there's a few chargers online i saw but this one comes in uh at a pretty good price i think it was 30 bucks but i'm going off of memory here and you can see that it's it's charged up my rechargeable batteries what i like about this one is with the case that i bought it fits in there and i'm not ever gonna overload myself on these uh square batteries so i can put the the charging cord in this area and i've got the charger and the cord and everything all together and, and what this is is a battery tester and so you just pull a battery out i can't hold the camera and do this at the same time but you pull a battery out put it in there and it's got an old school i'll show you it's got an old school needle that shows you the condition of your batteries and this comes with the battery case and this is separate so I'm just loading up on batteries, so I have those, and I've got plenty of power, so I don't have to worry about that side of it. If uh, something happens to the grid and you don't have power, at least with one of these little, you know, find one that finds that uh, meets your price range, at least with these little power packs, you can get a 100-watt solar panel, charge them up, and you can recharge your phone, you can recharge your laptop, your uh, tablet, and I've run my TV on mine, and you can run your CPAP machine if it's a Jackery 500. So I'll put a, a, a button at the top for the Jackery 500 review. That's a proper review, so you can see what that thing can do. And then just find something that uh, meets your, your budget. But I would at least make sure that you still got power no matter what happens. And let me know in the notes if there's something that uh, I'm missing on this that I need to be aware of. There's plenty of websites that talk about you know, food storage and dry goods and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to get into that. And again, who knows, man, we may, the stores may replenish their shelves next week and then that's the end of it. 
I just was very surprised to see what was going on. And so it gave me pause enough to the point that I got some batteries and uh, made sure that my power needs were always going to be met. And uh, I just think it's a good idea. All right, that, that's really all I got. You guys hang in there. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, we'll see you soon.